everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Livelli Book Buddy. Please remember to subscribe, like, and comment because that is always the right thing to do. Today I am back with a book review, and this one is titled Travelers by Helen Habila. This author is currently a lecturer uh, of creative writing in Virginia, United States. He's originally from Nigeria, and this book, Travelers, chronicles a series of characters that are refugees in Berlin and surrounding nations within Europe. Alright, so let's get into what I think about the book after having read it and um, what I liked and what I did not like about the book. Yeah? I, I'm going to say that I struggled to connect very instantly with the writing style that he has. I found it to be a little confusing at times because it was it was just too much. Too he did too much in terms of the writing aspect of it. And it's not the language but it's it's the style. I mean you can almost tell that he is a creative writing teacher. And maybe I'm just I'm just not creative enough but Yo, it was very difficult for me to follow because of his writing style. Uh, however, that did not uh, distract the, um, the authenticity and the, um, the empathy that I developed for the characters within the story and how powerful I think it is for us to start uh, uh, having conversations and asking ourselves questions, real questions, which, which came up in this book, you know, about the global epidemic of uh, travelers, right? Um, are they really travelers? Um, in a sense, and he speaks a lot about uh, refugees in this book. The main character, who is a Nigerian and is currently married to an African American woman, they are, he is currently pursuing or wants to pursue a PhD, and they move to Berlin for a year. And within that year, a lot happens within their relationship. Um, things start to fall apart and they're considering um, divorce, they separate for a little bit. And, and so there's that relationship that happens in the book. And uh, the guy who is uh, the main character, uh, I don't think they mention his name in the book. I, I might be mistaken, but I don't think they mention his name in the book. But we, we, we read the book through his voice and through sort of like his perspective yeah he meets a lot of people um whether it's in the train whether it's in a it's in a bar and he gets a very close look at what it must feel like as a traveler somebody that's always running away from something from 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 wars uh, death from 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 not being able to be accepted about how they choose to uh, live their sexuality and so he gives us a very very intricate and intimate um, dialogue between you know people who 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 are in countries that are not of their own. He details all of the the bureaucratic sort of conundrums that these travelers have to go through with customs and having to have in possession all the important papers that legitimize their their entry to a certain country and it's just a painful account to see sort of like the imbalance of the global system in terms of who gets to do what, who gets to travel where. And um, it's painful when you get to read about, you know, what happens at these refugee camps and how people are treated, how people die, how people just have, are just hopeless. I have grown a big um, space in my heart to be empathetic to when I see things like things that are happening in the news, when people are fleeing, when people are entering, just immigrants in general. Um, there's a certain kind of perspective that uh, I'm able to to sort of 
delve into a little bit more because of this book I think these stories didn't even feel like fiction they felt so so real the characters were incredibly textured um, in such a way that I, 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 I almost saw the woman who was on the sea on the on the sea uh, waiting for her husband or the the person that goes to the sea every day and and that is a healing process for them because maybe their family members died in the sea while they were trying to 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 get onto the borders borders to another country you know all of that trauma you kind of can you know imagine it and then just whoa it takes you it takes you to a very very interesting place um i definitely will give this book a three out of five star i think that's a good one so this is possibly my favorite favorite stylized cover and like the colors the the font everything is just so perfect and this is this is definitely my favorite cover of the year otherwise guys thank you so much for tuning in please remember to comment on the section below because that is the only way that i can know what you really think about my reviews are you enjoying the books that i am reviewing yes or no what kind of books are you reading right now i told you guys i'm always open to recommendations about topics and what you'd like to see on on the channel i'm very open to that so you can just hit me up on the comment section below but otherwise i shall see you guys next time bye